in just a year and a half, the new Ram 1500 has racked up a boatload of awards. North American Truck of the Year, Pickup Truck of the Year. In fact, it's one of the best trucks we've ever driven. Now, building on that success is no easy task, but Ram engineers might have done it here. Yes, friends, that's a diesel badge. The Ram 1500 Eco Diesel returns for 2020, and it's better than ever. See if you can spot the differences between the gas-powered Ram 1500 and this one. Here's a hint, I already pointed it out. The Eco Diesel badge on the hood is the only thing that separates this version from the gas model visually. But that's sort of good news because the Ram 1500 is already an impressive looking truck, especially the Rebel model. This one gets the matte black grille, the Ram logo, and the bigger wheels and tires. 18 inches on this one and 33 inch wheels separate it from the base model. Not to mention the one inch lift, which makes it even more off-road ready. Remember Ram's nifty multi-function tailgate? You can get it on the Eco Diesel model too. The four-way 60-40 split function tailgate makes loading and unloading even easier thanks to its ability to move outward and opposite ways, yet still downward like a traditional tailgate. And that added functionality is good news, because the Ram 1500 Eco Diesel can haul more than 2,000 pounds. Even in the Rebel model we're driving with the big knobby tires, the air suspension keeps the ride nice and smooth. And the steering is well weighted, but not too light. The truck doesn't drive as big as it looks from the outside, which is the same story for the gas powered model. Now here's the only major difference. Yep, you hear that? That's the noise of the diesel engine penetrating the cabin just a little bit because Ram does a really good job of noise canceling where other trucks sound more distinct when you hit the gas. Now from a dead stop or stop sign, you definitely hear the diesel engine more, but it's not offensive at all. We also spent some time in the Eco Diesel Limited model, which sheds the Rebels off-road cues for bigger chrome wheels, a more posh interior that includes nicer leather and impressive detailing, and handsome upscale styling on the outside. Those not inclined to off-road will want to opt for the Limited model instead. It's way smoother to drive and more sophisticated than the Rebel model. So let's look at the numbers. 260 horsepower doesn't sound like a lot initially, but consider the torque figure. At 480 pound-feet, the Ram 1500 Eco Diesel is best in class, which means a lot of torque off the line and great towing. At over 12,000 pounds, it's also best in class. But in the Ram Rebel especially, this engine makes a lot of sense. While it's great on-road and great for towing, it's awesome off-road. The Ram Rebel Eco Diesel is one of the only trucks in the segment with a diesel off-road option. With all its features, this Ram can wade through 30 inches of water, climb up steep inclines, a torquey diesel engine aiding it the entire way, and crawl over rocks thanks to a locking rear diff. Tons of torque combined with the traditional Rebel's impressive off-road kit makes the diesel-powered Rebel just as capable, if not more so, than its gas-powered sibling. So let's do some good news, bad news here. Bad news is Ram hasn't provided fuel economy numbers yet for this, which makes it hard to compare directly to the F-150 in Silverado. But good news is we're seeing some pretty good fuel economy numbers just in our initial test. So 50 miles in at about 60 miles per hour, which is the speed limit, we're seeing 25.2 miles per gallon. That's a little bit of a mix of city and highway driving, but so far that's about middle of the pack. Now, the F-150 and the Silverado both get over 30 miles per gallon on the highway, and we're not seeing that yet, and granted, we haven't done a ton of highway driving, but we're hopeful that the Ram does as well as those trucks in the final numbers. It's worth pointing out that this is a Rebel trim, and it does have the big knobby off-road tires, which means it won't be as efficient as, say, the base Tradesman model, which would compete more directly with those numbers we mentioned for the F-150 and Silverado. But again, 25 miles per gallon, that's pretty good for this truck. Like we said before, there's virtually no change from the gas model to the diesel model, especially in the cabin. You still get the same leather, the high quality materials, the really awesome Uconnect screen. All the things you want on the gas model carry over without sacrifice. We know the half ton diesel party has gotten a little crowded these days with the addition of the F-150 and Silverado, but Ram has a distinct advantage. The 1500 is the best truck in the segment, and the addition of a diesel engine only makes it that much better.